Hi, in this module and the following three modules, we will cover various aspects of LLM evaluation. I will start by covering basic notions of evaluation, such as what is a data set, what is a metric, how does automatic evaluation work, how does a human evaluation work. And the subsequent modules will cover LLM evaluation for bias, factuality, hallucination, and self-consistency. <clears throat> so what is a data set? A general data set is any set of records, such as images, textual documents, videos, network graphs, health records. These are useful for descriptive, qualitative, or quantitative analysis that summarize the data themselves. From the point of view of supervised machine learning, a data set is a set of records that has input-output pairs. For example, sentences and their sentiment scores, documents and their summaries, videos and their captions, questions and their answers. And these are useful for evaluating machine learning models under the supervised learning paradigm. So what is a metric and how do we evaluate given supervised data? We run a model on the inputs and the model give us predictions. We define a metric or a score that estimates how well the model predictions reflect the gold outputs and we compute the value of this metric. And how do we compute a score? Essentially, there are two ways. Either we ask humans to rate the output of uh, a model or using an automatic metric, we compute the score. Under the automatic evaluation, we have uh, many metrics that are commonly used in machine learning, and this depends at, uh, on the task at hand. So for example, if we are looking at a classification-based task, say for example, um, sentiment analysis, where we want to uh, predict the sentiment of a text as being positive or negative, we can use accuracy to uh, assess uh, whether the model predicted the same output as the gold output. Uh, if we look at span-based question answering, the goal is to extract the answer to a question from the, a given text if such answer exists. In this case, we can use the F1 score to see how many words are in common between the prediction and the output uh, and the gold output of the model, and that way we can assess the performance of the QA model. In uh, translation, for example, commonly used metrics are rouge and bleu, and these assess how many words are in common between the prediction of the model and the gold output. In program synthesis, uh, one way to assess the uh, performance of the model is using accuracy, and assessing whether the predicted code, for example, produced the same result as the output when run. We just discussed automatic evaluation. However, sometimes we have tasks that require a more nuanced evaluation that cannot be captured using automatic evaluation. So if we're looking at tasks where there is a generated text and we wanna really assess the quality of this text, this could be hard to do using automatic evaluation only. So we would hire human annotators or human judges, or for example, crowd turkers, and ask them to compare the uh, output of the model to a real or gold uh, output. Typically, we ask the worker to assess aspects like coherence, readability, fluency, or grammaticality, or in other settings, we can ask them to assess to what extent a model follows instructions. Uh, one way to do human evaluation is through preference judgments. So for example, we can ask the worker to choose the passage that is more, for example, coherent or fluent. And we can also give them a third option specifying that bo both passages are equally good. Another way to carry out human evaluation is by rating a passage. So for example, we can ask the worker the following, thinking about the quality. So for example, let's say coherence, thinking about coherence, rate the following passage on a scale of one to five with one being the worst and five being the best. Or if we wanna assess uh, the model's ability to follow instructions, we can give, for example, such a task. The generated story, follows the instruction, including all characters. How much do you agree with this statement? 
strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. And by doing this kind of human evaluation, we hope to be able to capture aspects of evaluation that is usually hard to be assessed by an automatic metric. Uh, 